I'm Tom Stern, and we need to talk. Hi, I'm Tom Stern, and we need to talk. Everybody's in such a hurry these days. It seems like we've been conditioned to believe that we've got to keep moving, got to keep hustling, got to keep climbing to the top. It's a zero-sum game, and if we don't move up, we'll fall to the back of the pack. And if that happens, we'll become losers, invisible, obsolete. So to get to the corner office and not end up back in a cubicle, we keep teleconferencing, video conferencing, emailing, and paging. We work for virtual companies in virtual offices with virtually no time off. We're traveling, commuting, conferring, repurposing, scenario planning, expanding, merging, diversifying, converging, regurgitating, and relapsing. Our organizations are vertical yet horizontal with a 360 degree review cycle. We protect inside information while thinking outside the box. When we hire, we won't put a square peg in a round hole, but we might round off our numbers to square our books. People will get counseled, others will get canceled. When we're downsizing, we'll be on the up and up, but we'll always manage the short term and the long term, even if our CEO is doing a prison term. I have a theory, by the way. The reason so many CEOs are going to prison is because they want to. It's the only way they know how to slow down. It's better than a corporate retreat, because in prison, you don't have to do all that networking. In the morning, you relax, play a little handball in the yard. In the afternoon, you make a couple of license plates, and before you know it, you're chairman of the escape committee. Speaking of CEOs going to prison, ex tyco CEO Dennis Kozlowski finally got convicted. That guy's life is like a MasterCard commercial. Gold umbrella stand, $15,000. Party for your wife, $2 million. The look on your face when you got 25 years, priceless. Well, there you have it. I hope I've given you something to chew on and spit out. I'm Tom Stern, and as always, we need to talk.